Welcome back to Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show. Good day. We chat quite a bit about the University of Toledo Rocket football team, but we have to remember there's another team that has a big game coming up very soon as well. Head coach of the U Toledo women's basketball team, Trisha Cullop and Quenisha Lockett, join us to chat about a very big game. So let's talk about this big game, the University of Michigan. And I just have to say, the ladies beat the University of Michigan last year, correct? So uh, tell us about this big game. Well, we were fortunate enough to win last year. I thought our team played extremely well. Uh, but it's not often that you get a Big Ten team that agrees to come to your place. Yeah. And so December 6th, uh, it's a whiteout. It's our first nationally televised regular season game. Uh, but we will be playing the University of Michigan. Tip-off is at 5 o'clock. Uh, so we want everybody to circle this game. We're trying to sell it out. Yeah, that's the plan, right? To make sure we sell out Savage. Uh, so, and for good reason, because the women's Rockets team are just fantastic. I remember last year just watching you all in the tournament. So a lot of momentum coming off of last season, right? We've got all of our starters back and we've got a great support cast back and uh, Mac MVP back. So <laughs> we're thrilled to have Q back leading us and uh, it should be an exciting year. We beeped up our schedule, uh, but we can't wait for fans to come out. This is only our second home game. Yeah, so Kanisha, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, receiving Mac MVP. Yeah. First of all, how, how did that feel? I mean, it felt amazing, you know, but like I said, like I wasn't really trying to go out there and win Mac MVP. Like I was just trying to play and win the game and it just happened. Yeah, and uh, what an amazing season last year. So three and two so far to start things off. Uh, so talk to us about uh, just how the schedule has been so far. Uh, the two losses that are there uh, going against those opponents. Uh, what have you been able to see with uh, your team and also with uh, just how teams have beefed up uh, their players as well. Okay, yeah, so we've beefed up our schedule a lot this year and I'm just excited to, you know, play harder competition and just to build up our momentum going into the season and just to, you know, get a, a feel for how we're going to be this year. And, you know, we got off to a slow start, but it's it's nothing to come. You know, we're going to keep playing and going hard. Yeah, and Coach, you said you got a lot of seniors back this year. We have we have all of our starters back. We've got we've got four seniors on this team, okay. and uh, you know this team is is a very the chemistry is unbelievable, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the reasons. In addition to the talent that we had such a great year, uh, we we hope to make a strong run again this year. Uh, but we're playing this schedule to get better yeah. so that we can do that. So playing a Big Ten team, uh, mm -hmm. so you're playing uh, the University of Michigan. That's on December 6th. So the, mm -hmm. the goal is to sell that out, and you want everyone to wear white. Mm -hmm. It's a white out at Savage Arena. Uh, but you have some other big teams on the schedule as well. Yeah, it won't be too long and we'll be heading out to Duke. Uh, so when you look at the schedule and you say, you know, Cincinnati, you say Duke, you say Gonzaga, um, you know, SMU is a top 100 team that we just beat out in San Diego. Uh, this is this is a tough schedule, uh, but we did it on purpose. We wanted to get better. We wanted to see where our weaknesses were so we could improve before Mac play. And when you think about, Kanisha, that, that schedule, it's beefed up. What does that do for you as a player and also for the team? Um, it just gets us ready and prepares us for, you know, playing in our MAC play and also going further into the tournament and the NCAA. Yeah, love that. Uh, really want to see you ladies go far in the tournament this year. Always exciting. I mean, uh, March Madness, just basketball. Huge fan and, and love to watch you all play. Uh, so uh, tell us about the experience of watching uh, the women's rocket team inside of Savage Arena. We have one of the best fan bases in the country. I mean, we were 24th in the country in attendance last year. Uh, we have been top 30 in the country in attendance 10 out of the last 11 years. This is an incredible fan base. It's a lot of fun. It's a great environment. If you haven't been, get your tickets and come out. I think most people, when they do it once, they want to come back. Yeah. And we would love for them to see this team and especially uh, get a chance to see one of the best. She's surpassed 2,000 points already. She's only one of three Rockets to ever do that in the wow. history of our program. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for you to see one of our legends uh, already still in action, and then also a team that's full of uh, very experienced players. And you were able to pass that 2,000 point mark the first game of the season, right? Yes. Yeah, so how was that for you to do something like that? You're, you're, you're setting records at the University of Toledo. Yes, um, I'm really not going out there to set the records. I'm telling you, like, I'm just going out there to play hard and play my heart out for my team so we can get some wins. And uh, when I made that 2,000 point against uh, 
when we were playing, JMU. yeah, when we were playing against JMU, like I didn't even realize it was my 2,000 points. <laughs> I was just trying to score. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, congratulations, uh, all of the accomplishments. And, and again, for p folks uh, who want to attend that game on December 6th, uh, what are you all trying to do, and what should they wear? They should wear white. Uh, obviously, they need to get there early. This is a five o'clock tip-off, uh, but get there early. And then the other thing is, we may have some great apparel on sale on the concourse level that I think people will enjoy getting. Um, but we, we would love to have them there early, uh, wearing white so that people know who they're cheering for, yeah. since both teams have the same colors. Absolutely. So uh, make sure you're cheering for the right team, not the team up north, correct? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. And we'll have more Good Day in a moment.